subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Yeah, let's talk about it, man. Listen, listen, this is the thing, because this is what's going to trip a lot of people up. This is what's going to trip a lot of people up. We're talking about worldwide influence. Who are the, I'm talking about worldwide influence beyond our area, beyond the north or the south or the city or the state. I'm talking about worldwide influence where you can see the blueprints. So on the picture, right, you had J Prince, Screw, Slim and walk. So for them, now mind you, it's only four spots. Now it can be any pick. You can pick who in. You know, it's a lot of more people than four that you can put up here. You know what I'm saying? But if you say Jay Prince, for example, and you're talking about worldwide influence, he's the blueprint for all things independent. Even Nipsey Hustle, somebody said Nip. Even Nipsey Hustle shouted out Jay Prince, even as recent as him, you know, a few years ago. He's that influence. He's the influence for your Suge Knights and your Irv Gotti's and all these people. You can see his blueprint, worldwide influence. You know what I'm saying? Screw. It don't really even have to be said. It's so much slowed down stuff from even Justin Timberlake when he had the song with Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? Dre, what up? Um, when he had the song with Jay-Z, Suit and Tie, you can see that. Worldwide influence, slowed down music, worldwide influence. And with DJ Screw, that's everything screwed up click. That's everything from, you can even say anything slowed down is screwed up. You know, that's, that's Screw. That's Screw's influence. So anything slowed down. We could put the 2005 movement on screw you know what i'm saying because that's how it was slow down music still tipping all that now slim when you talk about the blueprint for an independent artist saying i am going to do it by myself i'm not going to sign to an independent label i'm going to be the artist and the ceo which is pretty much what all artists are doing right now and he was one of the first ones to really do that and still doing his thing today you know what i mean worldwide influence uh and then walk you know what i'm saying he has people you know the, everybody was dancing like him everybody was dripping sauce everybody was moving like him you know what i mean he's you can't deny his influence over the world so we're talking about worldwide influence you know what i'm saying y'all let me know now mind you it's only it's only four slots and those four slots can be a few people you know what i'm saying kiki who's my favorite houston rapper you know what i'm saying kiki could most definitely be on there because a lot of the stuff that uh anybody who's pretty much rapping out of houston that came up after 96 97 like kiki's probably your influence you know what i'm saying um but yeah you know what i'm saying y'all let me know man we're just having a discussion man it's just just about we talking about that man the most influential worldwide we're talking worldwide influence I'm not talking about who sold the most records. I'm talking about the influence where you can see their blueprint. I can see this person's blueprint from Houston, Texas in places outside of Houston, Texas, outside of Houston, outside of Texas, outside of our region. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you throw Premier on there. Yeah, no, most definitely. Most definitely. Um, the thing with like a premiere or even like a, like Beyonce, you know what I'm saying? Like the larger artists. I'm talking about people that came up from Houston culture. Like they came from Houston. You know what I'm saying? Of course we recognize premiere. Most definitely. It's a Houston guy that gave, you know, New York they sound. I say that all the time. So shout out to DJ Premier. I love DJ Premier, man. Well, yeah, you can put anybody on here. Y'all tap in, man. Y'all want to go on here? I'm going to add some people. Y'all want to go live? Let's chop it up. Let me know. But it's only four slots. And we're talking about worldwide influence. We're not talking about local influence or, or statewide influence. We're talking about worldwide influence. You can see it. You know what I'm saying? You only got four slots. Who you taking off? If you saw the picture, who you taking off the picture and putting on and why? Y'all y'all tap in, man. Let's chop it up. Thomas, what's going down? Nah, man, it's moving the goalposts. How are we moving the goalposts? Tap in, tap in, uh, Stro. If you can, if you can talk, DJ Sam, what's going on? Young Sam, what's going down? Beyonce in the league of her own, right? The Beyonces, the yeah, I can see why you say sauce, but me personally, I put Scarface right there. So you'll put Scarface on and take who? Now we're talking. This ain't just artists. We're talking about people from Houston, from the hip hop community. It ain't just artists. It's figures. So who we, who we, uh, goddamn Sam, my boy. Man, we need to chop it up too, Sam. Um, I've been meaning to reach out to you, bro. JB, who you say? Scarface, Big Melo, 3-2, and Pimp C. Worldwide influence. Worldwide influence. Scarface, where's Devin the dude? We're not talking about your favorite artists. I'm talking about they influence. Where are the blueprints? You got to show me the blueprint, and the blueprint has to be beyond the city or the state. 
You got to show me that. That's what I'm saying. We talking about world. Yeah, screw worldwide. Right. They have, they listening to screw all over the world. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Worldwide influence. You'll take out sauce. You'll take out sauce Walker for Scarface. So it'll be J Prince, Slim Thug, Scarface, and uh, who else was on there? I don't even know who. Else. I can't even remember who else was on that. Oh, Slim, for sure. People thinking local when you're talking bigger than that. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking bigger than I'm talking bigger than local, and I'm talking about influence. Show me the DNA. Where's the DNA? Comedian that was sliding that low key. Okay, where's the DNA? Y'all tap in, man. Let's chop it up too. I wanna, I wanna, you know, this is a live. I went live intentionally. I ain't make this just like a flat out YouTube video of me kind of just spewing my my thoughts and stuff. It ain't about that. Just really for me to have a conversation. I want to chop it up. Let's go. Let's go in. Stro. Screw Slim Walker J Prince. Yeah. Screw Travis J Prince Beyonce. We talking about people that come from the Houston culture. From Houston culture, people that brought Houston culture. Yo, yo. Stro, what's good? Man, what's the deal, bro? Peace be with you. How you feeling today, man? Chilling, chilling, feeling good. How about yourself, man? You doing well, man. I'm moving and shaking, so I'm gonna try to make it quick, you know what I'm saying, as I get to the point. Uh so Premier, bro, I feel like we undermine Premier because it's not necessarily Houston culture or Houston S. But if you take a nigga from Houston and you put him in any other environment, we know that nigga from Houston. Um so with that being said, even if it's not a coming down sign, sound, if it's not a, what's the other words I'm looking for? Even if it's not coming down or car culture or all the great shit that involves our city, if it ain't sipping lean, if it ain't all the things we known for or typecasted for, if we being for real, then we, we kind of push it away. From my perspective, if, if for me not on that list, then we don't have hip hop, period. The hip hop, the boom fat sound that the rest of the world reveres. Houston don't give a fuck about it. Well, let's just be honest. We don't care about that shit. That's not really our cup of tea as a sound of the city. But his influence in that genre or in that niche of the market has to have some kind of long term effect, bro. Like, how can we not recognize it? Now, I said we was moving the goalposts because we start throwing in Beyonce. I mean, come on, bro. That Michael Jackson. You feel me? That she in the world of home too. But we, we so can't, we can't, of- we can't, we can't put Premier in the world of in in that same world in hip hop. And I mean, the man's work with Jay Z, Nas, Ali. He's when you talking yeah, yeah. about the elitist. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah, what, yeah, yeah. From yeah. My, and that's what I'm saying from my point of people that have actually came from Houston, like because it's different right. when you come from from here. And you go mm-hmm. out there with it, you know what I'm saying? Because to work out, nah, of, to that. come out of from where we come from, and 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 bring something worldwide, it's a different type of type of deal, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. that's why I'm saying like yeah, he, he wasn't really messed in the city to the world's eyes, uh, right? I yeah, no, he worked that he worked that sound waves and all that. But DJ's premiere, his come up is pretty much you can attribute that to He's New gone. York, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the yeah, major yeah. labels and all that, and what he did with Guru and Gangsta and all that. And I love all that shit, you know what I'm saying? But, nah, for sure. uh, yeah, you know. I, I just don't. A lot of people don't even know, bro, from you. You know what yeah. I mean? And of course, this conversation ain't for them, but for the most part, once again, the city don't really latch on to them like we should in that regard. So I wanted to just throw it out there to recognize. Is yeah. he one of the elite? Without question, bro. Without question. So, excuse my misunderstanding of where you was coming from with that. Already, already, already. I appreciate you tapping in, big dog. Always, bro. Peace be with you, man. Y'all be safe. Already. All right. That's what we're doing, man. We're talking the most influential H Town figures of all time. Worldwide influence, though. So we're not just talking about the most sales and the, who's the most popping. I'm talking about you can see that DNA. We're talking about they came up from Houston because y'all know it's different. This ain't Hollywood, bro. This ain't this ain't L.A. This ain't New York. We don't have the labels here. It's a different type of struggle to come up here and come up out this city and bring something to the major sound. You know what I'm saying? I put Lil Kiki up there. For sure, that's my favorite rap. I say it all the time. Uh, out of lingo, a lot of stuff that the world be stealing coming down from Kiki. Um... A lot of things hold hip hop culture. Okay. For sure. For sure. Most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. Y'all tap in, man. We're talking worldwide influence, man. Worldwide influence is a conversation. I ain't just want to go off and, like I said, we're doing this back and forth. But y'all let me know, man. You only got four slots. You only got four slots, man. Who you taking off? You got J Prince, DJ Screw, Slim Thug, Sauce Walker.
Chameleon. Okay, you add Chameleon. Who you taking off for? Uh, for Chameleon. If you go out of town and ask people who they know from Houston, that's who's on the Mount Rushmore. And that's what I'm saying. That's what we talking about worldwide. Bigger than bigger than our area. Bigger than our region. How about Mister Three Two? For sure, Mister Three Two influenced Snoop Dogg. That's no secret. Imagine a world where DJ Screw didn't exist. Who and what disappears? Screw was definitely on the Houston Mount Rushmore. That's no, that's he had Jamaicans remixing Ride Dirty. We talking about culture and sauce, ain't it? Sauce ain't sauce ain't sauce ain't culture. Who said? Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if I nah. We talking about culture and sauce ain't it? Sauce came up out of Houston. I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes. I saw Sauce Walker come up in Houston, Texas and brought what he was doing in Houston to the world. You can't you can't knock that. Bun said he's from the age. Can we include him? For sure. Yeah, we can include Bun most definitely. Most definitely. Bun can go up there. Like you said, he cleared it up the other day. He's from Houston. I had already knew that, but, you know, he cleared it up. Yeah. Doesn't matter. People just hate when they see younger artists get recognized next to old heads. Let's see. AJ Thomas, thank you for saying that. Thank you for saying what? Uh, but appreciate you tuning in for sure. Yeah, man, we're talking, we talking influence worldwide. UGK was released by a Houston label, most definitely. And see, that's another thing. White Tim, shout out White Tim, man. I had that conversation with people too with, as well. Like, yeah, they were from Port Arthur, Port Arthur and they represented Port Arthur, but they came out on Big Time Records, which was on Martin Luther King on MLK out of, out of King's Flea Market. So we're not going to consider that a Houston. I, I consider UGK Houston for sure. Most definitely. Mike Dean. Now, again, we're talking influence now. We're talking influence. So if we, whatever, whoever you naming, we got to talk about that influence. That's what we're talking about, the most influential. We're not talking about the most, whatever, my boy Stig One, shout out Stig One. Um, we're talking about influence. We're not talking about the most sales. We're not talking about the most jamming. We're not talking about your favorite. We're talking about influence. We're talking about this person came out out of Houston, not representing Houston, out of Houston, out of our grind, you know what I'm saying, and made a name for themselves and, and brought something to the game that was influential beyond whatever they did. And like me on why Saul should be up there and what is his influence? Man, listen, bro. When Sauce Walker came out in 2015, 16, 14, 15, whatever that was, you know what I'm saying? And he was doing the dances and all that. Everybody started doing that. From whoever was your favorite rapper on down. They all did it. That's that's on the dance scene. The dripping sauce. The this the whole lingo. You know what I'm saying? You can still see it to this day. Like, Sauce got people signed, like he said on The Breakfast Club. The dude got people signed, you know, all over the world. You know what I'm saying? And when you can do that, you can't deny his influence. Whether you enjoy his music or not, whether you, you know, heard any of his music, whether you, you know, like what he represent, whatever the case. Um, and I and I like his music. I, I mess with Sauce. You know what I'm saying? The whole world saying drip. Right. The whole world says drip now. You got to give that to Sauce Walker. How does he not? You know what I'm saying? Sauce Walker is one of the most influential when you're talking about worldwide, nationwide. Sauce Walker is one of the most influential artists to come up out of Houston, Texas and grind it in Houston, Texas. Grind it in Houston, Texas. It's different when you grind in Houston, Texas and you go do what he did. You cannot knock that man, dog. You got to give you got to give it to him. And again, like I said, we're just talking to be talking. You know, you can put whoever else on there. You know what I'm saying? Sauce is an influencer of the newer generation of Houston. Most definitely. He is that. You know what I'm saying? So we're talking about influence. Travis Scott. What's Travis Scott's? Uh, I'm not I'm not like asking this to like knock. I'm saying like if we talking Travis Scott. Um, let's talk to Travis Scott influence then. What's the Travis Scott influence? Like where's the where's the uh, DNA? For Travis Scott. And Travis Scott came up, I think, what, like in Atlanta or LA or something like that? Like, I'm talking about people that, that came up in the city of Houston. Like, they grinded in the city of Houston. That's what I'm saying. It's a different thing when you have to grind and make a name for yourself in the city. It's completely different, bro. Completely different. 
anybody who, who's watching this and who's in the music and been out here trying to make something happen, you know, bro, it's not easy to make it out of Houston or to make it to make it in Houston. And it's definitely not easy. It's even harder to make it out of Houston. Uh, revision, uh, screw face. Let me see. Screw face, UGK, Don Key. No offense for anyone. You got the whole style. It's only four slots. It's only four slots. Okay, uh, I guess you can put UGK as one. Megan Thee Stallion. J Prince showed the world that the South can't be stopped. J Prince also influenced Suge Knight and Death Row Records, Irv Gotti and Murder, Inc. Um, you know, whoever else you want to think of, you know what I mean, that may have went on and done things and sold even more records. You know what I'm saying? They came, Cash Money, Birdman and Cash Money, they all came and sat down with Jay Prince. That's why Jay Prince belongs up there. He brought the independent game to the to the thing. We can take, we can break it down by era. Face, Screw, Slim, and Sauce. Hmm. If Screw is in there, Watch should be in there too. No, listen to what I'm saying. When I say DJ Screw, and this is this is why. This is the only reason why, uh, why it was it was Slim and Kiki after I mean Slim and uh and Sauce after J Prince and, and Screw. When I say DJ Screw, I'm talking about all things slow down. I'm not just talking about DJ Screw. I'm talking about Screw tapes. I'm talking about freestyles. I'm talking about SUC. I'm talking about um, Swisher House. Anything slowed down that came from DJ Screw. It's screw. That's the screw influence. That's the screw DNA. That's why. That's why that was like that. But no. But Kiki's. I've said this before a million times. Kiki's my favorite rapper. If it was anybody else, I would put on there. It would be Lil Kiki for sure. For sure. For sure. It's only four slots though. They're not understanding what you're trying to say. Right. I'm talking influence. I'm talking national influence. I'm talking grinded in Houston and has national influence the way these kids dressing come from Travis Scott he brought a different style from Houston outside of a traditional sound I I, I like Travis Scott I'm, I wasn't asking that like I don't know like knocking him I'm just saying like if we gonna talk about Travis Scott how does because it because if because if Travis Scott goes up there that means Sauce Walker comes down and then if that happens you're saying that tr that in order for that to happen you would have to say that Travis Scott is more influential than Sauce Walker, and I don't know if I would say that. I don't know if I would say that anything he influenced, that's the part they're not getting down to influence. Right, that's what I'm saying. When I say DJ Screw, it, it touches all things DJ, any, all things slow down. So that's freestyles, that's SUC artists, that's Swisher House slow down, that's all that's like coming from Screw, you know what I'm saying? I was just talking musicians or Houston residents. This is what I'm talking about for everybody who just tuned in. I'm talking about people that grinded in Houston and has an influence worldwide or beyond our city or beyond our, our state or our, you know, our area. You know what I'm saying? So like when we say J Prince influence, we're talking about bringing the independent game, which is what pretty much a lot of people are doing now. You know what I'm saying? And he gave to Suge and, and the Masterpiece and Birdman and all these people who they talk about who came and sat down with him and got that understanding. We talk about Mike Dean. Bun, what's up, Bun? Uh, Mike Dean, yeah, yeah. We could put Mike Dean up there for sure. For sure, for sure. We could put Mike Dean. Yeah, but we're talking, like I said, we're talking, uh, like I said, influence worldwide. You know what I'm saying? Grounded in an H. Mike Dean, for sure. If we put Mike Dean up there, who comes who comes down for Mike Dean? If we put Mike Dean, because we can definitely put Mike Dean. If you're talking producers, like, grinded out of Houston and all the Kanye and Madonna and all that. You talking underground, no mainstream? No, I'm talking about Houston. Like, Houston, because... Anything in Houston, if it came out on rap a lot, that's still like, that's a that's a grind. Coming up out of this H and making that's a grind. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce, UGK, Screw, and J Prince. Beyonce, UGK, Screw, and J Prince. Hmm. 
Yeah, Mike Dean is a GOAT for sure. If Mike Dean goes up, Slim comes down. If Mike Dean goes up, Slim comes down. So we're looking at J Prince, Screw, Mike Dean, and, and Walker. B Cox. B Cox, another GOAT, another pro producer GOAT. Slim, Mike, Paul, and Cam. Ah. We talking worldwide, man. We talking worldwide. <laughs> like, like, uh, was it? Mike Dean is a different category. How's it different? Are we talking? No, no, no. He's not a different category. Are we talking, he can fit, he can go in there. Mike Dean grinded in Houston and went beyond with that. What about Megan? What's the, if we, if we gonna say Megan the Stallion, Dean gotta come down for the Stallion? Ain't no way. There's no way Mike, there's no way. Mike Dean comes down for Megan Thee Stallion. And Megan is great. Megan is great, but that's that's not who Mike Dean comes down for. We're talking worldwide influence, y'all. We're not talking about your favorite artists. We're not talking about your favorite artists. We're not talking about who sold the most records. We're talking about they grinded in Houston. And you know what? Not the more that I'm talking, I could have misspoke because I was saying we couldn't put Beyonce in there. Beyonce... Came up out of music world. That's that's something, and it's R and B. That's not easy to do to to do R and B and come up out of Houston doing R and B and do what they did. So now nah, you you can give it. You can get that to Beyonce. My bad, I misspoke on that. For the people who was who was saying Beyonce, SPM on it, but nobody want to say it. Are we putting SPM on the on the Mount Rushmore? Despite whatever, whatever his, you know, his situation is. Are y'all putting SPM? Because hey, man, SPM did his thing. I mean, you talk about Hispanics and hip hop in 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 Houston. Like he still might be the the highest selling artist, if I'm not mistaken. DJ Premier. DJ Premier is from Houston. DJ Premier didn't come up grinding in Houston. Like he didn't make his career in Houston. He made his career on the East Coast. But legend for sure. One of the greatest to ever come out of to, to the H for sure. Hell no, nah, he not worldwide. We not putting SPM on there? Okay. I think you gotta think about the younger generation versus OGs. You had a good list. I think Screw and Jay Umbrella cover Kiki and Face. Right. Dre. That's what I'm saying. You you got exactly what I was yeah. Screw covers Kiki, S U C all things slow down. Jay covers fake. Right. You got it. That's what I'm saying, man. Some of y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. B King, B King is a legend. Um, but if you put B King up there, who are you taking down for, for B King? SPM is great, but he's not in that category. If shit wouldn't have happened, he would be in the GOAT category. Devin ain't worldwide. What's the Devin? Yeah, he, Devin is worldwide. Okay, White Tim. What's the if we if we if we put Devin up there, it's two questions. If we put Devin up there. What's the Devin influence? Like, how many artists are we going? Well, shit, I can't even say that because Devin influenced a hell of a... I'm wrong. I'm wrong. He's your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. If we put Devin up there, who do we take down for Devin? Influential meaning they bought a new audience. Influential meaning they bought something new to the game and you can still see it today. Honestly, my boy Ring got a big overseas presence. But I don't think his celebrity is competition. But who is Ring? Most people can't even give five different songs. Screw Mike. We talking about influence though. We're not talking about songs now. Nah. It don't matter how many songs. It doesn't really matter that if you if you've influenced certain, you know, if you've influenced a thousand artists, it don't really matter if they if the average person can't name a song. Your influence is your influence. Let's do it. We gotta move Jay Prince to the GOAT round. Hot take Travis Scott. Slim K, my boy. Okay. What's the Slim K? Okay. Slim K, what's the Travis Scott? Because ain't nobody told me this. What's the Travis Scott DNA? And what is beyond Don Tolliver? What is what is what all did Travis Scott bring to the game that's 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 that everybody kind of took from? And if we put Travis Scott up there, who are we taking down for Travis Scott? Y'all can tap in too. If y'all want to go live, we can we can we can tap into this. Ain't just for me to be talking to the screen. We can get on here and go back and forth.
Somebody, y'all keep saying Scarface. When I say Scarface, that like Dre said, y'all miss it. Uh, that's under Dre Prince. That's all that's under Dre Prince. Everything slowed down beyond SUC. Switch out. Anything slowed down is all DJ Screw. So that's what we saying when we talking influence. What can you claim? J Prince can claim I brought this independence to the game. Screw can claim I brought slowed down to the game and I owned it. Even if somebody, whoever said they did it before them or Florida or whoever else, I owned it. Slim can say as an independent artist, I, would, I came in the game saying I'm going to sign to myself. I'm not signing to an independent label. He came in with Switch House, but he wasn't signed as an artist. I'm talking about coming in and saying I'm going to sign to myself, which is the blueprint for pretty much every artist coming out right now. You got you to gotta give him that. You know what I'm saying? When you talk about Sauce, the man, when the younger generation, is so many people, even beyond just younger generation, man. It was a point, like I said, 2014, 15, 16, everybody was, they was taking this shit. Travis bought live music to perfection. Mm. Yeah, peeps saw his interview on Breakfast Club, a lot of gems. It was a good interview on Drake. You know, it was, it was, what about less? Okay. No Watts, no Slim, possibly. But listen to what I'm saying. Watts is part of the slow down tree, which is the DN which is the screw DNA. When I'm talking about Slim, I'm not talking about Slim for Switch House. I'm talking about Slim for being an independent artist, for signing to himself. When everybody else, when they had all these other independent labels in town, um, you know, whoever it was, if it was Straight Profit or this one or whatever, in Rec Shop, whatever independent label, he didn't sign to one of those labels. He signed to himself which is what a lot of people are doing now. Your average new artist coming out is saying, man, I got my own label. You know, YSL this or whatever and whatever. Everybody's doing their own thing. Slim was, was doing this in 98, 99. That's why he's up there. So that's this, I'm not talking about Slim for Swisher House. I'm talking about Slim for Independent Hustle. All the Swisher House artists did that. All Switzer House artists did not uh, do the label thing like Slim did. So since Watts files under screw, Slim and Cam would file under screw as well? No, because I'm, what I'm saying is Slim is under there. Slim is in his own category for hustle, not for slow down. I'm talking about from the standpoint of saying, from a business structure standpoint, saying, okay, while an artist might come out under screw or come off under Switzer House or whoever, and sign to Asylum or sign to a rec shop or sign to whatever label, I'm going to create my own label and I'm going to sign to myself. And that's pretty much how Slim came out. Even though he did a year or whatever under Swisher House, Slim, for the, for the vast majority of his career, has been signed to himself. And that's pretty much what every artist is doing today. So that's why he's up there. I'm separating that from the Swisher House thing. It's more about hustle and like business structure and shit like that. That's what I'm saying. That's why, I, that's why I don't put that under the... Uh, I mean, you could, but for the reasons of business, I'm not. Travis DNA is in Don Tolliver, Fashion, Chase B. Still early, but Travis probably will uh, inspire the next generation. Sauce Walk and Travis in the same category in regards of hip-hop influence. So you would say Travis Scott and Sauce Walker are equally influenced, Slim K? Let me see who wants to get on here as well. Let's see. Y'all tap in too, man. We adding people on. Yo, yo, what's good, my man? What's happening? What's happening? Donnie was going down, baby. Chilling. How you feeling, Donnie? My old classmate, too. You, you went to TSU and all that. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. We, we can't deny Meg the Stallion, though, bro. Like, I'm a whole man. I don't listen to her like that. You understand what I'm saying? But you put that damn Meg on, and she going to turn up the, the, the spot. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's been hot girl some of the last three summers. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? She had people driving a boat, drinking, do safe. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, we all seen her grind. She started out at, at gas stations, twerking at gas stations. Then she went from that to being one of the hottest artists out working with Beyonce. All the while going to the, going to TSU. 
and graduating and influencing a whole handful of women to go to school, get their degrees and all that. She worldwide. She got people rapping in Japanese right now. You feel me? Uh, listen, she, 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 she gonna be she she's because I'm gonna do this for a few different things. When I start talking about uh -huh. the biggest artists to come out of here, she's gonna be on that list. When you talk about uh -huh. influence, I don't know how much to like what an influence is. You know what I'm saying? If we go, I say this: if we gonna put Slim Thug down and put Mike Dean, because see, Mike Dean he influential, but. Boys don't know, like, they ain't going to be able to pick out a Mike Bean song if you put it on today. Most people, right? But you put a Meg Thee Stallion on, they rapping in Japanese, bro. Don't even know what they saying. You feel me? So that, that's just my little take on it. That's my little one-two yeah. with it. You feel me? Uh, really, bro. I appreciate but, you. I but the list is solid, though, though. I see what you did there. The list is solid. J Prince, you got all these people under his umbrella from the Zeros to you name them. You got the sauce. Created the drill, the, the splashing, the, you know what I'm saying? Little thug, you can't deny his influence with the independent and all of that good stuff. And Screw, come on, that's undeniable, bro. Screw just, he created a whole genre of music and entertainment. Yeah. That, that I've been listening to since Jay High, and I still listen to, listen to it to this day. So I see what you did with the, the list of silent. But I'm just saying, though, that Meg is the hot girl. You Boy, right like, with that Meg. That boy say, nah, that Meg, man, that's my one. Bro, man. <laughs> she, she got Kamala. She just was on stage with Kamala Harris, bro. Twerking, she though. Had, Twerking. <laughs> like, she got a way through it. Them thousands like, them thousands like that on the stage, you feel me? So, hey, <laughs> <laughs> keep doing your thing, bro. I, I love it. I enjoy it. You feel me? It's, it's a great thing to watch. I man. seen you on the come up, bro. Keep doing your thing. Appreciate you, big dog. Already, bro. Bet that. Yeah. I don't know how to end this shit, though. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. There it is. True Mike Dean was hired time and time again by J. Prince. I was walking been pushing since 2016. He's been pushing since 2014, actually. Kiki got a presidential award from Obama. Y'all tap in. Let me see. We talking most influential worldwide. Not who sold the most. Not who's your favorite artist. We talking about most influential. You can still see that DNA. Hey. What's going down, big dog? What's going on, bro? Chill. First of all, much, much love and respect to uh, the platform you've grown and, and everything you're doing. Just having this conversation. Appreciate you, man. Where, where you calling in from, man? Houston, Texas. Hey, time. Where you at? North side, south side, east side. South, south Acres. Already. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. This conversation, I think we, we really need to dig into this DJ Premier conversation. And the reason why is because he came up in a time. First of all, the man with the prayer view. For sure. He's from Houston. Yeah. He came up in a time where hip-hop wasn't that popular in Houston. I feel like it's unfair to penalize him because he had no choice but to move out of Texas to get that love. Whoa, and but to hold get on that now. Respect. But hold on. Are we penalizing them? Because rap a lot was a thing. It still was early, though. But I don't think... He, got, he, got, signed, with, he got signed, I want to say, in 88. So in 88, right. that's like that's like a year before um, the uh, the Ghetto Boys like get Scarface. You know what I'm saying? And all that. And then, you know, a couple years, three years before Mind Playing Tricks. So it was just, I mean, you know, his situation is situation. Man, it, it ain't, it ain't penalizing. It's just, we just talking about careers because truth be told, at the time, that was a huge blessing for him. And it still is a blessing because he went on to create the sound for the East Coast and, and all of that. But when we talking about... But, but, go ahead. But, uh, not to interrupt you, but we can't negate the fact that Preem brought some of that Houston sauce to hip-hop. He was special not because he sounded like them. It was because he brought something different to the game than what they had during that time. It's it's a reason why the the hoes still go to him. Uh, nah, it's like all of these artists go to him for that that sauce that you can't get from nowhere else but him. You can't get what he does from nowhere else. Hmm. And you can't tell me I, I, I I'm not trying to I go put ahead, no go words in nobody's mouth, but 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 you can't t tell me that Screw ain't get inspired by what Prem was doing, or all of these other DJs were being you know, influenced by what he brought to the game because he the first one we seen, if we're being completely honest, 
that came from the city and went out there and did it big on a major scale. So I don't think we need to, I think he deserves way more, way more praise than he gets from the city because the same reason why he lives is the same reason why Travis lives. No, I get and it. And we talk about Travis. I get it. No, I get it for sure, for sure. And, and, and that's, yeah. the, that's the thing, bro. DJ Premier, I, I say it all the time. He is H-Town. You know what I'm saying? As soon as East Coast, anytime I get into it with an East Coast person, they start talking about East Coast and all this. I'm like, bro, yeah. it, it was somebody from the H you gave out y'all sound. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love right. DJ Premier, but just for the topic of conversation, we talking about artists that actually had to come up through the, the through, had to fight through everything in Houston. Because it's a different thing when you grind in the H. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you got to even make a name for yourself in Houston, it's hard as hell. You know what I'm saying? And then right. make a name for yourself outside of Houston, in Texas, and, and nationwide and worldwide, that's a whole nother level of the game, man. So that's just what I'm saying. Uh, okay, let me. can I ask you one, one question? And yeah. it's just something for us all to think about. If it wasn't for Preem doing what he did, do you think we would know that it was possible? Um, I don't know how many, you know, the thing about DJ Premier is, I don't know, depending on your age, how many people, like, when I'm saying your age, I'm not saying you in particular, I'm saying, like, yeah. the person, whoever's watching, or whoever's listening, who, who, depending on your age, you may or may not know that DJ Premier is even from the age. True, but... So, 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 if that's the, if that's the, if that's the general consensus, then what you're saying, yeah, you can definitely say, like, yeah, I ain't, you know... My influence, you know, when you talk about Houston, I know about, you know, J Prince Rap Light or Screw or right. Swisher House or whoever, you know, Kiki, Zero, whoever, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's what everybody don't know that. You got to really be into your shit to really know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you got to really be a hip hop fan or a DJ Premier fan or really on your Houston stuff to really know, like, Premier's from here. You know what I'm saying? But, right. but for the record, I make it a point to always say, bro, Premier is one of us, man. He's one of right us, on. but he's attributed to East Coast hip hop though. His career is attributed to East Coast hip hop though. Right on, man. Now I, I appreciate you even letting me come up here and have this conversation because I feel like to even this conversation, people probably don't know all of this stuff. And yeah. shoot, it might take get somebody to to say, you know, I'm gonna do my research and find out about who DJ Premier is. And like he, uh, Stro just said something about Tony Draper. Like I, a lot of Tony Draper don't get the respect and, and the love that he deserves as well when it comes to being a Houston legend. But um, Most man, shit, Most eight definitely. time all day, man. Appreciate you for letting me come up here. All right, man. Appreciate you, big dog. Right on. Yeah, for sure. Y'all tap in, man. We talking most influential worldwide out of the H, man. Grinded in the H. When we talking about from the H, we're not talking about just was from here born. We talking about grinded in Houston. Grinded in the H. Made a name for themselves worldwide. Turkey leg hut. If we speak of influence. We talking uh, music. We we talking music. We're not talking about just anybody. We're saying just in music. Now in music, you don't have to be a rapper. You can be a CEO or you can be whatever. But we talking about in music. Three shoes should be recognized as a national influence. His influence on Snoop Dogg for sure, most definitely. That's my, my that's my cousin. Uh, rest in peace, three two. Rest in peace to the governor. Gator Grills, Randall, what up? Franchise Teeth, what's going down? Let me see BME, BMT, Scott, what's going down? What's up? What's up? Yams, my boy. Honestly, we should move everybody who ain't from the south side. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Boy, say we need to move everybody. Uh, nah. Well, yeah, just hip hop. We just talking. We just talking hip hop. We just talking hip hop. For sure. So right now, the on, the current list right now. Is uh who I said screw J Prince, Slim Thug, and and uh Sauce Walker. There's a lot of people who have to, who have made a lot of influence, but if we was to make a Mount Rushmore, only four could make it. Tim, right. So Tim, who's your four? White Tim, my boy. Give me give me your four on the on the on the Mount Rushmore. If you take if you take somebody off the current list, come into the chat with your four. Don't just drop one name in because I want to know who you took off. So drop out, drop you a fresh four in there if you come in there. Yeah, people will be left off for sure. That's what I'm saying. So if you coming in here, don't just drop one name. If you drop, if you dropping street military, give me street military and, and who else? You got to give me all four, or it's your whole four street military. But you gotta, you gotta give it to me. Like drop out, drop your fresh four in the chat, man. We talking most influential worldwide now. 
We're talking worldwide influence. We're not talking about H Town influence. We're not talking about Texas influence. We're talking about beyond the state, beyond the city. And Devin and Duke, listen, drop your name. Who you putting on there? For, who you taking out for Devin and Duke? Give me all four. Give me all four names in the chat. Face J Prince Slim and Screw. Okay, so you taking off Sauce Walker. So we talking executive, yeah, we talking executives, yeah. Hip hop figures, yeah, that's why Jay Prince is on there. I'm talking about I'm talking about based on the guidelines, based on the guidelines of the most influential artists from Houston that grinded in Houston, came up out of Houston, and has an impact. You can see that DNA beyond the state of Texas. Nationwide, worldwide. Scarface, Bumby, Slim Thug, Travis Scott. Scarface, Bumby, Slim Thug, Travis Scott. J Prince, Screw, Slim Thug, Lil Flip. Mind you, now, again, we talking influence. When you name these artists, we talking influence. We're not just talking about who sold the most, who's the most jamming. We talking about influence. I mean, you can see this person, who, what they brought and say, oh, they got that from them. I can tell they were influenced by this person. I can look in the game and see this was actually influenced by this. This didn't exist until this person came to the game. Sauce and Slim got to go. Paul Wild put the world on grills. Big Mo put the world on purple syrup. Drop a fresh four. We're not just putting one or two names. We're putting all four. If you're taking one off, you got to put a fresh four in the chat. Give me a fresh four in the chat if you're taking one off of the four that we got up there. Paul had boys rocking grills. Okay, that's cool. Mo Pokey flip in 3-2. Worldwide influence. Yandy, my boy Yandy. Hey, shout out Big Mo, man. Um, we at Exotic Pop this Sunday celebrating the life of the late, great Big Mo. The bar baby is going down this Sunday, man. We in there. Me, Yandy, uh, Mama Mo, the whole Mo family. You know what I'm saying? K-Love, Rick Shot family. Everybody going to be in there. It's going down this Sunday. At Exotic Pop, man, it's going down. We're doing this for Big Mo for the bar, baby. You know what I'm saying? Back to the thing. RK, my boy, what up? In the chat, we're talking most influential worldwide. Worldwide influence. Came up out of Houston, grinded in Houston. Worldwide influence. Worldwide influence, meaning you can see their DNA in the game beyond Texas. UB, what up? My boy. Oh, drop the fresh four. If you're taking one, if you're taking one off of the list we got up there right now, drop your fresh four. J Prince, DJ Screw, Scarface, Mike Dean. Didn't a lot of artists say they can make enough money right here in Texas. They chose not to promote. That's fine, but that's not what we're talking about, though. That's not the topic of discussion, y'all. The topic of discussion, <laughs> we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that, because that's a different, that's a different discussion. But right now, the, the topic of discussion is who grinded in Houston, brought Houston, brought something from this H. On the net, Draper is from Houston, but Suave wasn't focused on just Houston. That biggest artist for, for me. Yeah, that's a lot of, I think that's a lot of times why Tony Draper gets lost in the Houston conversation. But just like Big Time Records, Suave House is a Houston label, so it can kind of go either way. The current four is probably the most solid. Prince has a tree that extends to artists outside of Houston. It excludes everything from issues, switch out here, Chop Star. Right, Chop Stars, all that. Right. Um, I can only vouch for national influence. There's never been a major worldwide artist, Houston artist tour. Hey, big bro, come preach to Donnie about Primo. He ain't trying to hear it. Bun knows I fuck with Primo. Everybody know I fuck with Primo. I, I fuck with Primo. But in regards to this conversation, DJ Premier's music career did not start in Houston. His career was when he went to New York. Uh, you got to really know what you... Man, listen, bro. Y'all, If y'all want to debate, we can debate all day. Screw isn't known in Europe. Screw isn't known in Europe? Let me tell you how you wrong. <laughs> Screw isn't known. Screw is known all over the world, bruh. 
Let's see. Okay, so RK, you coming with Scarface, Screw, Mike Jones, and Pimp C. Huh. Travis Scott known in Europe as well. Scarface, DJ Screw, Mike Jones, Pimp C. J Prince, DJ Screw, Slim Thug, Megan Thee Stallion. We not you drop more than one name in the chat. If you're going to jump in the conversation, we dropping all four names. If you're taking one person off, don't just drop the person you want to add. Drop all four names. We're dropping four names in the chat. We're talking worldwide influence H time. Screw face J Prince, and I'm going to say sauce because bro TSF bro birthed a lot of style and shit and rap. Exactly. You can't discredit that. Mike Jones was huge. What's the what's the Mike Jones influence though? Who can we look in the game and say, man, they got that from Mike Jones? That's kind of where I'm at. And I, and, I, and, I, and I love Mike Jones. He's definitely one of the biggest artists to ever come out of here. But when we say influence, that's a different thing. Well, I don't know. Biggest artist, most definitely. Influence. What did, what did Mike Jones, uh, what's the Mike Jones influence? And again, when I ask these questions, that's not to knock. I'm just, I'm just trying to get understanding. Um, OG Run Look OG Run C Okay if you putting OG Run C Give me four names Give me four names DJ Boy Love God Give me Give me uh, Give me four names In the chat Give me four Give me all four Mike Jones was big But he wasn't an influence Yeah that's That's what I'm saying Like I don't I don't know I think he was huge Like he's He's probably He's arguably When you talk about That 05 run He's arguably The, the biggest artist um, from that run of Houston artists, like when you're talking about like probably the most recognizable, Scarface, Mike Dean, Megan Thee Stallion, Travis, honorable mention, Paul Wall, Scarface, Mike Dean, Megan, Travis, huh? Artists repeating bars, huh? They're not sleeping on Mike Dean. We're just grouping him under J Prince Tree like we are with Face, yeah. I think you've got the Mount Rushmore correct. J Prince, Screw, Slim, Sauce, Accurate. Oh yeah, shout out, man. We got some people in here, man. Y'all need to get y'all one of them, uh, get y'all one of them, holla at Gator Gold and Grills, man. Get your watch. You know what I'm saying? Get you some jewelry. Get your watch if you don't get nothing else, man. That's my dog. You're putting out quality material for a long time. One of the coldest in the city. If you're in the H, if you're not in the H, tap in with him. He can mail it to you. You know what I'm saying? Buy it online, all that. Take care of your business, man. Get you a Gator Grill. Screw Pimp, Scarface, Paul Wall. Screw Pimp, Scarface, Paul Wall. That's not a bad thing. Scarface is under the J Prince thing, though. So J Prince covers, J Prince covers all things independent label from a from a CEO standpoint all things rap a lot so that's the artists producers whatever Pimp C gotta be up there okay if Pimp C is up there and again, give me a fresh four when y'all come in with, with, with the names. If Pimp C is up there, Drew, uh, who's your four? If Pimp C is up there, then who's your four? People missing the point of influential. And yeah, that's all I'm saying. I'm talking, I'm talking influential, and I'm not just talking local influence. I'm talking major influence, worldwide influence. I see. Yeah, man. Well, anyway, I just want to drop that on y'all, man. I love UGK out because PA not Houston. <laughs> okay, I feel that. But 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 you know UGK came out on on big on uh, big time records. So we can we can we can still give UGK Houston, and we'll give UGK uh, one slot. So they can, the two can go as a one. If you want to do that. 
So Donnie, you want us to name four? I wasn't in here when the live started. Yeah. If you if you're taking off, if you're taking off, if you disagree with the list, if you disagree with the people that's on the picture, which is J Prince, DJ Screw, Slim Thug, and Sauce Walker, then drop a fresh four in there. It can be, we're just talking about influence. Whoever had the most in, we're not talking about the, we're not talking about your favorite. We're not talking about who you think is the best. We're not talking about who sold the most records. We're talking about influence. And not just influence in Houston and Texas. We're talking about influence beyond the city and the state. Let's see what's going down. What's going down? My bad. I'm checking in on his IG right now. On this other IG. All right. Screw J Prince. Sauce influence wise has to be on the list. The fourth can go to quite a few people. But those three have to be on there. Screw J Prince 3 2 Scarface. J Prince, UGK, Megan, DJ Screw. Big Mellow was the first person to say Izzle for Shizzle on the song. DJ Screw, Rap a Lot OG. DJ Screw, Rap a Lot OG, Ron C. And Michael Watts. Okay. Okay. If we're talking artists, I stand by this list. But people in general, Face Pimp C. Uh, yes, going to Ron C and Watch File under Screw Chief. Right. There you go, Tim. Yeah. Most definitely. Watch and Screw. I mean, uh, Watch and Ron C definitely under Screw Tree. The Screw Tree might be the might be the biggest tree out of all this, out of all the four up there. It covers so much. S U C Swisher House. Anything slowed down, anything, uh, there's an SUC artist, any Swisher House artist, any uh, Shop Star, all this, all this screw. J Prince, DJ Screw. Rex, see, Rex Shop falls under DJ Screw, 713 Black. Rex Shop is under the DJ Screw tree. I think the niggas in the city really sleep on 3 2 and his influence. Unless you, well, Unless Rick Shop is a label, I can say Rick Shop was huge in a sense of uh from independence. Like they did it big in their time, like for an independent label. Screw influence watch. Right, exactly. So for everybody who just tapping in, the reason why J Prince is up there, his influence on the game, influencing Birdman, influencing Master P, influencing Suge Knight, Irv Gotti, you know, everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey Hussle even mentioned him on, on his last album before he passed. Like, that influence of wanting to be a CEO in an independent label owner. You know what I'm saying? He brought that to the game. Um, and that goes, that's, you know, your TDs, whoever, anybody, that's that's all that, you know, Jay Prince was really the one to bring, put that out there like that. Then you got Screw, of course, all the slow down stuff, like I said. Slim, when I say Slim Thug, that's separate from the screw thing, which falls under the Swisher House and all that stuff. When I'm talking about Slim Thug, I'm talking about from a business acumen. When I'm talking about hustle, I'm talking about someone who now everybody says, I'm going to be an artist and I'm going to have my own label. Like you got your Young Thug and your YSL and this one, this artist and that label and this one and that label. Slim did this in 98, 99 saying, I'm going to be the artist and the label owner. That's the thing sauce for what he's done you know what i'm saying so that's that's why those four up there just to let everybody know who's just not tapping in that's what we're talking about worldwide influence and uh yeah if you got a fresh four we finna cut this off in a minute appreciate everybody who's been tuning in though if you got a fresh four drop them in there we're gonna keep this thing going i got more conversations coming real soon like this man um i just wanted to kick off this little morning segment like this you know Cause it just it just dawned on me. Me and some of the homies was talking, and I was just like, "Damn, you know, what is the what is the 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 Rushmore beyond Houston and Texas influence?" Sauce is finally getting his buzz internationally, right? Like he said on on his interview, he has people signed, you know, all over the world. You know, so 
that's what that list is, man. Like I said, appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm down in Houston, man. Um, we gonna uh, we gonna keep this thing going, man. You know what I'm saying? See y'all next time. Like I said, we at Exotic Pop. If you're in the H, we at Exotic Pop on Sunday, celebrating the life of the late great Big Mo. And um, hey, man, y'all subscribe to Donnie Houston TV on YouTube. Go back watch some videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment. Tell your people to go over there, subscribe, like, comment, all that, man. I appreciate y'all. We got new merch and all that coming, new episodes coming. Uh, for all the people that like the SUC stuff, I got a real exclusive coming uh, from an SUC member. Never been interviewed before, um, and it's dope. So it's going down, man. It's down in Houston. We're out of here.